transformationandempowerment.com. I just wanted to say, first of all, to everyone, I am very grateful to be able to connect with you on a monthly basis. Um, I'm hoping to start more videos now that things are a bit slower in my other company. But I just want to thank you all for subscribing and just being with me every month. I want to also share the type of readings that I'm doing for September. I am doing the Energy Oracle card readings. I was just guided uh, not just by spirit, but also the cards were calling out of my drawer, so I just was meant to read them for September. There are a lot of shifts that are happening in September, okay? A lot of retrograde planets, but this can be a very positive move for all of us. So I really wanted to focus a lot on the energy of the month. Now I'm also planning, um, now that things are a bit slower in my other business, is maybe doing bi-monthly readings or, um, I don't know, I'll figure it out, but just stay tuned. I'm going to squeeze it in there somewhere. And that perhaps will have a lot more predictions than what I've done for September. So I'm using the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor, in case you are interested in purchasing them for yourself. I am using the Romance Angel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, and I use these every month because I really love them, and I really feel like the spirit of these cards tell a lot of story. Uh, Whispers of Love, I try to include those in every reading. Um, these are the Oracle cards by uh, Angela Hartfield. I love them. They're beautiful. As you already know, they're one of my favorite cards. And I'm also using Scott Alexander King, the Animal Dreaming Oracle cards. So I'm pulling Power Animal Spirit cards, just one, for each sign, um, just to give the message, like an underlying theme. Okay? And of course, I am involving... The Tarot by Connolly um, that I use a lot in either my road spread when I'm doing the love readings or, you know, sometimes I use them in my general readings. Okay, so again, thank you so much for subscribing, for being with me uh, monthly. I really can't express how important and how great that makes me feel. Uh, I'm not going to be able to resonate with all of you worldwide, okay? But what I try to do is at least get out those important energy uh, messages because energy is everything and everything is energy. Um, so I am planning on, uh, like I said, getting those uh, readings out to you um, bi-monthly or maybe I'll do weekly. I have no clue as I have to see what my time schedule is because I have a lot of readings and I know I'm booked out two weeks in advance. Sometimes there are some openings where I can squeeze in and you'll find them on my scheduling. Right now I don't know if I have much up there because I'm just that booked. But what's really good is you can still order an audio reading, for example, an audio email reading where you email me questions and I do the reading and I record it and I send it to you. I also have YouTube and private video readings uh, where I can record them and send to you. It's sometimes you may get sooner than a phone reading only for the fact that I can do it anytime uh, during the day or night, um, about three to seven days out on those because I can speed up on that. Uh, I have past life readings. Uh, I also am doing a lot of soul retrieval journeys for the ones who've experienced trauma or heartbreaks. Um, I'm doing power retrieval journeys. Uh, this is all shamanism. I'm doing past life retrieval journeys and I am doing destiny retrieval journeys and also within some of these journeys like the soul retrieval journey uh, the healing journey which I didn't mention but I am now 
I do a lot of uh, cord cutting and uh, I work with the stones on that. You do not need to be in person with me. I, you can be miles and miles away. This is totally a soul energy connection and I am able to work to clear you of energies, um, you know, just being wherever you're at and you can be at work. You don't have to be uh, laying down somewhere. Now, I do not work any spells at this time, and I do not work in with demonic energy. So if I do pick up any of that and you've asked me for help, I am going to guide you a different direction. Okay, so make sure, and if you don't know, you can go on to Google and you can type in free astrology chart if you don't know your moon and your rising sometimes your sun sign reading won't resonate but your moon and rising will and they're kind of a trilogy the sun the ascendant which is the rising and the moon they all kind of vibrate together i mean your whole chart does but these are very important uh positions uh the sun the rising and the moon and to me it's a trilogy so that is one way you can check uh, to find out what your moon and rising is. So please don't forget to check it out in the readings also. If you would like a personal reading, I think I've already told you that you can reach me at www.transformationandempowerment.com. It is also listed below my videos. I wish you all a fabulous September. Stay positive. Go at ease, be patient, go with the flow. The shift will be much easier that way. I've already begun to see fives for the entire week and I am starting to go through the DNA wheel, which are a lot of the numbers. So I know the shift is close at hand. Much love and blessings to you, my friends, and thank you for taking out your precious time to listen to my videos. Peace. Hey Virgo, how's it going? This is your general and love oracle tarot card reading for September. 2016 so what I'm doing is I'm reading stones first and this stone fell out for uh, Virgo um, what this stone says to me here is there have been a lot of changes for you for some of you I should say it for you know Virgo Virgo moon Virgo rising a lot of the shifts have been good. Some of you have gone into some great jobs. Um, some of you have gotten married. Some of you have gotten divorced. Uh, some of you, your children have left home. So at times you feel like your home is an empty nest. But I really feel that there is another shift in September coming. And if you stay positive, you know, things will uh, look more on the up scale versus what's been happening on and off for the past year or two. Uh, the card here that covers you is the Angel of Strength. Okay, and it just, what it what it's saying is, you know, first of all, stop carrying all the burden on you. You know, give a lot of this to the universe, really. If you have a conversation with the universe and say, hey, you know, I can't carry this anymore. I need help. I need direction. You know, I really feel that um, uh, you'll get the answers that you need. The card below you is the deceit card. And, and I'm not feeling like you have any enemies. I'm feeling like you're deceiving yourself. Like, I, you know, like I'm feeling I'm looking through an eyeglass. And as I look through the eyeglass, I'm seeing that you, some of you see the world as being very narrow. Almost as if life is against you at times. And I'm not reading for one particular person. I feel like a lot of Virgos have been feeling this way on and off. And I'm feeling more the sun Virgo, more than the rising or the moon Virgo. So... Basically, what the cards are saying to me here is there are some attachments that still need to be released. Uh, perhaps maybe it's been difficult for some of you to actually see yourself. But 
this is why you have to get into present moment. You know, mindful meditation, for example, is the most perfect meditation in, out there in regards to really opening up and bringing up those core beliefs that stored energy over the years of perhaps, you know, you could have been, you could have come from an abusive family or maybe you felt the family didn't see things the way you did and maybe they wanted more from you and you felt like you couldn't live up to them. You know, I'm just giving you examples here. Maybe it's the same in your marriage or in relationships that you choose. I feel like some of you have been disappointed because you feel like a relationship is going to begin and then suddenly the person disappears or you're disappointed to find out that actually the person may not be interested in you. You know, I'm getting here a lot of fifth chakra Archangel Gabriel cleansing here and also to focus on the fifth chakra. Okay, and the fifth chakra is your... Um, your throat your throat chakra like your community your mercury children so you you the communication here you need to work on the communication of what it is that you really want it's the telling not just telling yourself or or a partner but telling the universe that this is the angels that this is what you want and you have to be clear about it some of you are feeling like you want to go back to how things were years ago but we can't it's in the past now I pulled this power animal spirit guide. This is the wombat. It's so cute too. Uh, it means gentle aggression. Like maybe some of you have been so hard on yourself, okay, that you just at times feel drained and beat up. Or maybe you're just getting your point over a little bit too hard. And so the power spirit animal guide wombat is trying to tell you to proceed gently okay but don't step back step forward but proceed gently now what's below you is a woman holding your heart I feel like here that some of you have gone through some serious heartbreaks okay and I feel that uh, some of this experience you've had were pertaining to life contracts I'm also feeling like some of you may be confused on what it is that you exactly want in your career like I'm I'm, I'm getting the vision here that some of you have been really trying you know to get out there find out what it is that you want or even trying uh, to get employment and it hasn't been easy for you it's just kind of been um, you know difficult for you to uh, find exactly what it is that you want and I totally understand it can get like that Jupiter's in Virgo now and so Jupiter is the go lucky planet okay but sometimes Jupiter can expand uh, further than what we can handle so because it knows no boundaries at times so this is where you have to feel uh, you have to put boundaries on on, on things okay because I feel sometimes too people take advantage of you that's just the energy I'm feeling through the cards okay and I just feel like with the woman holding a heart not only does this mean you know some of you have gone through some heartbreak or some unfortunate um, experiences but it also means that you're gaining your power back and that in your heart you truly know what it is that you want so I feel September Virgo this is a great month for you to move forward and just really put focus on you because I'm feeling too that there has been a lot of focus on other people and maybe you're having difficulty communicating with others what it what it is you truly want but I feel with the meditation, Archangel Gabriel, just focusing on your fifth chakra, which is your throat chakra, that this will open up. I also feel the heart chakra too. Like I'm feeling up, you're moving forward, but yet you're unconscious of some closed heart walls there. So I would just concentrate on focusing on sweeping those clean 
and just really manifesting in those chakras what it is you truly desire regarding love your soul purpose what it is you really want to do in your life renew your contracts you know dissolve the contracts that are no longer uh, serving you a purpose now, I'm also getting that maybe some of you have been working really hard. I'm getting a proposal or some kind of maybe could be study, it could be anything. But I feel like that there is something here <clears throat> that <clears throat> you have a signed contract or will get a signed contract over. Something that you've been putting a lot of energy and time in. And it has a lot of soul meaning to you. Okay, it could be for work, it could be a book you're writing, it could be a script you're writing, it, it could be your studies, it, it can be so many different things. Relationships, relationships with family, relationships, you know, with your partner, or how you view relationships. Uh, I would study what you're attracting in because I feel like, not that you shouldn't trust, but I feel like maybe... I guess how to say this is like maybe how you're looking at it you're moving a little bit too fast and then it kind of falls apart and this is where I feel gentle aggression needs to come in here I feel like you need to just slowly um, you know just be present and slowly work on these issues that you feel work against you Okay, and that's kind of how you create more attachments. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to your love reading. What are the messages for Virgo? Love, September 2016. Now here are several of these cards came up regarding forgiving, learning life lessons, learning experiences, attracting in similar relationships that you've had um, or similarities to relationships you've had with new partners. And um, so I feel like there needs to be, again, some clearing because the attachment card here in your general reading pertains also to patterns and we are pattern people okay you know I love to do the mix here when it comes to love readings and I create what I call the road I'm, I'm only going to do two lines two rows I should say so, yeah, and this, and like I said, this could be pertaining to family. Like, perhaps maybe there's a family member here that just is working, you feel is working against you. It could be um, a father, a mother, a brother, a sister, or it could even be a really, you know, a, a, a close friend. But either way it goes, um, I just feel that you need to release this in order for it to heal. Otherwise, what you're basically doing is locking your energy into these into this situation. And so, therefore, you can't find the solution. Or the solution can't come about because you're trapped in into this situation. So, okay, let's see what's going on here. Virgo. Well, I'm getting relationships that are actually moving forward here that really are, um, you know, headed to marriage, headed to a, a, a commitment. And I, I think there is, um, 
I'm getting some confused energy here with the cards. I feel like some of you who are in a relationship now have decisions to make because I feel like you may have discovered something. This could be uh, with someone else who intruded in your relationship. I feel like you're right now at a standstill uh, with your partner um, over this. Maybe you feel like uh, this person could be a, a very close friend. It could be a family member. Uh, it could be a co-worker. It could be somebody that works around your partner. But either way it goes, I feel like you feel like there's somebody in the middle here. Um, and I'm getting like there's somebody in the middle here. <laughs> but I feel like this has a positive resolution either way it goes. If this relationship were to end, then to me, I feel it's okay because it was already pretty much done as it was anyways. I feel like there is an opportunity to renew this relationship if this is what you really want. But uh, I also feel that, uh, I mean, I'm getting this other person who has come in between the two of you, I, I really feel that they have a very strong position here. So uh, you're going to have to give this time. But at the same time, this is the time that you need to work with yourself and ask yourself, really truly ask yourself for the truth. Is this something you want to continue on with? Because there's already been a lot of strife in the relationship. And what I'm getting from spirit here and also this card is, is it's safe for you to love again. You just have to open up your heart to give and receive. And then you will receive the highest energy here. Okay, so um, all in all, Virgo, September can be a very good manifesting month month for you. I'm serious, really. It, what I'm seeing is there might be some things you still need to clean off your plate, but I'm feeling that I'm feeling a strong movement. Now I know Mercury's retrograde for most of September, but that doesn't mean you can't begin a relationship. It doesn't mean you can't heal the relationship you're in. Okay, it 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 just means you have to be very conscious about what you say to others, you know, the contracts that you sign, you gotta make sure they're clear. You know, if you're traveling, you know, make sure that you've got everything in your luggage, make sure that uh, the airlines is checking them in properly. Um, I know you're not responsible whether they get on the plane or not. Uh, I know a lot of people lately have lost luggage. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought I'd bring that up in case you're you decide to travel in September. Uh, so anyways, I'm just, uh, I'm feeling that it's really a month that you need to try. Okay, don't give up. I know sometimes I, you know, I know quite a few Virgos myself and there's a part of them, you know, I, I can feel what they're going through. It's a part of them that, you know, wants to really, really, create beautiful things and yet at the same time, you know, they're feeling, ugh, why one step forward, two steps backwards. There's been a lot of different aspects universally that have been affecting all of us globally, but you need to connect to your inner self, okay? And all you can do is try your best. That's it. Okay, so now I wanna choose some whispers of love cards for you. I love when I pull cards after I feel what spirit has given uh, regarding messages and then suddenly <sighs> here comes the cards to confirm it. 
Okay, so your first card is take a chance on love. And when we start to love, our lives are changed forever. So when we free ourselves from our own imprisonment, we also feel freedom and change forever. And so what I'm getting is there that Virgo heart. I can feel the Virgo heart. It's a beautiful heart, just full of love, poetry, you know, compassion. But at the same time, I'm also feeling you're almost imprisoned, but not by anyone, just by your own thoughts. And so this also affects your heart. Like I'm feeling some of you Virgos may be experiencing anxiety at this time. Um, so your second card is have patience. Love is patient and kind. Always. You know, the ones that I feel want to give up. Oh, love doesn't work for me. Life is against me. Things like that. Uh, I really feel like you need to be patient. I feel like when I see you, just like this card, you're in the center of the lotus and the lotus is beginning to open and blossom again for you. So just be patient. Things are coming. Love is coming. Okay? It just might not be there like the snap of your fingers or tomorrow, but it is coming. And the ones who are in a relationship who are struggling right now, you have the opportunity in September Okay, and I feel like it's going into October too, but um, I'm only doing September here. Uh, I feel like um, you have the opportunity to heal these relationship issues if you really want to. But even if you decide not to move on with your partner, I suggest you still get your own personal healing because these memories... These experiences are stored within your body and you don't want them to come up your next relationship. You want your next relationship to be healthy. Okay. And the third card is love is all around you. Okay. So there's love everywhere. And if you know that, like I try to help others by helping them understand that energy is everything and everything is energy. So if you send out this love all the time and if you vibe love, and I'm not saying that you have to be perfect. There may be days you wake up and you just feel crummy, but you know, connect to the sun, connect to the earth and connect to the different directions and you will balance and feel better about your day. But if you hold bitter feelings, those bitter feelings are going to vibe through you. And then you're going to be attracting in more things to be bitter about. So love is and love as all around you. So that is, there is love everywhere all the time. It's just a knowledge of truth, my friends. Just a knowledge of truth. This will help you attract in love. Okay, love yourself, be the love you want to be as if that is the love that you want to walk into your life and stop being so hard on yourself, you know, um, okay, I'm done with the love right now, but I just, for some reason, I just tuned into someone's health. Um, and as you know, as I stated in my introduction, I am not for September giving predictions uh, as much in the general and love trail readings as I will be what's coming up um, that I'm planning on doing. Uh, and this is just for September because I just go with the flow with spirit and whatever the vibe is, the vibe is. Um, but I'm feeling health issues for some Virgos. I'm getting the back. I'm getting teeth. I'm getting eyes. Okay. Um, I'm also getting a bit of circulatory issues uh, like leg, leg cramps now you can increase your potassium or some of this might just be related to kidney and also um, I'm getting diabetes but uh, of course this is not resonating with all of you I'm just saying some of you have been struggling here uh, in the ones uh, that have been having headaches or eye strain uh, definitely see your eye doctor uh, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm just only giving the vibrations that, I, that I'm that i feeling um, and uh, moving forward so that you can be treated 
um, as needed and properly. Okay, see your medical doctor for any of these issues. It's just the, the, the way the energies are happening for September for Virgos. I'm just feeling like a back strain or maybe you're holding energy, some negative energy in your back that needs to be released. Um, a dentist, see the dentist, because I'm feeling there needs to be some teeth work. Uh, and I'm just getting bones in general, okay? Uh, some of you may be uh, also experiencing some um, changes in life because uh, I'm feeling that. But uh, all in all, Virgo, I feel like you have a super uh, September, but there's work to be done, okay? And we all have to do it. And you should go about it in a very happy, blissful way because it's going to bring a whole new beautiful world to you. Okay, Virgo, have a great September. Much love and blessings.